Hello there. Hey guys, it's Vicky. Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we're doing some makeup. I have got, which I think I might have mentioned in a previous video, I've got a bit of the new Morphe 2 collection. So, here somewhere, here it is. I have a little pouch here, it says Dixie on it. Um, I bought the Dixie D'Amelio um, part of the Morphe 2 collab. And we're going to try it out and see what it's like. So I bought, what have we got in the little pouch? I got the three bits from the Dixie set and then I also got their new Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, which we will try out. So this is the first thing. In the Dixie collab came the Perk Up Cheek and Lip Colour um, in shade Hibiscus Hottie. We have got... A glassified lip oil that looks like this and then the last thing we've got to try is a I wish shadow stick which looks like this so those are the products um, and let's see how they do so I didn't obviously get everything in the collab um, I felt like one product in each color was enough we will start with the skin tint but first things first we'll put some primer on this face um, it's washed, but it hasn't got anything on it. So I'm just going to chuck on a bit of my NYX Marshmallow Primer um, and go from there. There we go. Got some primer on. I really need to start wearing contacts for these videos. So this is Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, a sheer to medium coverage foundation, I guess. So what does it say? Um, keep it easy with this lightweight yet long wearing fluid tint that hydrates, smooths and blurs while providing a naturally radiant finish. Now I have recently got myself the um, It Cosmetics, um, I can't remember what they call it but it's like the skin tint, the same sort of thing. Um, that is really good. It's expensive but I love how it finishes so at the moment I'm used to a nice radiant glowy natural finish. Um, it says on this it lasts for up to 16 hours it's water resistant, sweat resistant and transfer resistant that's good to know um, hydrates the skin for up to 12 hours seals in moisture and nourishes dry skin um, and it's vegan so that's good shakes gently, start with 1-2 to two drops and build to your desired level of coverage apply using synthetic brush synthetic brush sponge or your fingers I, okay, this is what it looks like um, it comes in this box here. Um, I went for the shade Hint of Almond, Almond, however you say that. Um, I don't know how it will look. It could be very orange by the looks of this. So opening it up, it comes in a bottle that looks like this with a little dropper. It looks a better colour in here, actually. Um, let's have a look. Let's give it a shake, as it says. start with one to two drops how is one to two drops going to go all the way around my face but we'll do as it says you can hear it shaking can you hear that bit of asmr okay let's give it a go i'd say that's probably had enough of a shake let's undo it and have a look um, so what do we go with? Do we go with the brush? Do we go with the sponge? I mean, I normally go with the sponge, so I guess we'll we'll stick with the sponge. I'm just going to hold my hair back with my hair grip so it's out my face, like so. I'm going to take my sponge. Lately, I've been using this one. It's um, like one of those microfiber sponges, um, so we'll give that a go. So where do I put these one to two drops? Do they go on my face? like on the sponge on my face i'm just going to dump in my sponge very quickly and then we will put it on my face i guess okay that's my sponge wet it has grown a bit and i'm going to stick one to, whoop i'm going to stick one to two drops of this on my hand one two i'm going to see what this looks like oh it looks very dark this is going to look silly right take my glasses off so I can see uh, right I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit 
Okay, so on this cheek here, I have put the one to two drops. Um, I like it so far. That one to two drops did nothing in terms of amount of product. There's a very minimal amount. I don't know if I actually did two full drops. So we're just going to keep going until I've had enough. But so far, I like the look of the product. It has put a really nice glow to my face. It's actually got more coverage in those two drops than I would have expected to see. But it's put a really nice finish on my face and it's very glowy. I mean, that's probably partly the primer underneath that I put quite a bit on. But um, let's keep going. I'm just going to put a bit more than two drops on my hand. Just like that. Oh god, it's very, very liquidy. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's very liquidy. Let's keep going. Okay, I've done half of my face. I don't normally do my foundation or skin in this way, but I'll do it so you guys can see. That's what half the face has done. It's added a lot of shine, and to be honest with you, I already had enough shine on my face. Um, but yeah, I've done my chin, I have done my nose, under my nose, and half the rest, the other half of my face, half the forehead, this cheek. Um, very glowy is what I can say so far. It looks very wet. So let's finish it off with this first layer. It is too dark for me, this skin colour, but it was the closest I could get when I ordered. So that is my face done. Um, I think there's a bit more product on the right side to the left, but that is it on there. I would say a little can go a long way if you want it to. It can spread round. You can go very minimal product. Um, let me just tone this light down. So you can see it in more natural light. That is what it looks like. It's nice. It's a nice finish. It's added a nice amount of coverage. It hasn't um, fully covered spots and scars. But it's done a decent job. The problem is it's, it's very wet. And it makes me look very, very oily. Like I look like I've walked very fast or gone for a run or something. Um... We can put powder over to see how what that does to it, but I'd say it's nice. It reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics one. I would say it's a good dupe. Um, in terms of price, I will put price on the screen because I can't remember, but it was not expensive. Um, and for the amount of product you get in here, um, that's quite good. Because in here, there is 30 mil. Considering you can work with one to two drops, you could get a lot of use out of this bottle. This could last you quite a while. Longer than I would say than the It Cosmetics one, which costs £32.50. So something to bear in mind. But yeah, I like this. I'm happy with that. Nice finish. So I will. Uh, this is a balm, isn't it? Hmm. Just deciding whether or not I should powder first. I think we're going to use this on my cheeks and then we'll powder. So next product is this. It's this big thick tube here called the Perk Up Cheek and Lip Colour. And I've gone for the colour Hibiscus Hottie because that was in the Dixie collab. Uh, looks like this. It looks absolutely terrifying in terms of colour and the size of it. How much product do you get? There's your answer. Which is probably quite a lot to be fair. Um, big thick tube um, I'm going to do as it says on this and use it on my cheeks and on my lips and then on top I will put the lip oil um, just to see um, I'm kind of scared to touch this let's put it on my hand oh okay comes off quite bright um, I've got the majority of the skin tint left there you can sort of rub it down let me do a proper swatch for you. So here it is. That's what it looks like on the hand. And then let's blend. So. So can you see what that's done there? It's sort of stuck in the creases of my hand. It hasn't really blended. Um, I don't know the best way to do this. I don't really want to go straight from the tube. So I think I'm going to take a brush 
don't ask me what brush okay i'm just going to take this random brush from bh cosmetics it's the number four um because it looks like a relatively good size and i haven't used it yet and i'm going to stick some of this on the brush and see what happens on my cheeks oh my god it's quite scary and i've definitely just put it too low What do you think? I'm working on it. What do you reckon? Decisions, eh? Right, I've sort of gone with the concept of stamping and blending. Um, I don't know, you guys, about this one. It's not bad colour. When you blend it out, it's not bad. But if you look at the state of my brush, um, I think all it's done is pull off the foundation. I'm going to call it the skin tin, the skin product. I think all it's done is pulled that off. Um, and it's kind of ruined my brush. Um, but I just sort of patted and blended I've got more on this side than this side. I've definitely not done them very evenly. Um, and I've definitely placed the blush too low, but it's mainly because I started with my glasses on. But, I don't know. It's a nice colour, but it's not the easiest to work with. I don't normally wear blush, so it's hard for me to say. I think it looks cute and rosy, but it definitely pulled off some of the makeup underneath. Um, so what we will do is when I powder on top, I'm going to powder over that cream because it's a cream product. I'll powder over it and hopefully it will tone it down and maybe melt more together. So that's the hope. Um, I'm not quite sure about this. It's not really, I'm kind of covered in it now and it's not really going anywhere. It's just sunk into all the lines of my hand. Let me see if it will focus on that. I don't know if you can tell. It didn't really blend. Hello. There we go. I don't know if you can do it. It didn't really blend. So, um, medium, medium impressions of this. Um, let's put it on my lip. Um, I might just go straight from the tube and see what happens. I don't know how I will like this. It's definitely got a hair on it. Lovely. Mwah. I don't like it. I don't like it, you guys. I don't like the colour. I think there are pinkier tones that would work way better than this one. I think it's way too bright. And I do not like that. At all. In fact, I'm going to take it off um, the lips. Tell me if you think any different, but I really don't like that. It went on It's quite creamily. It's quite creamy. But it's so dark. And the tube is so wide, I found it really hard to place it where I want to place it without going over my lips. So you really need to then get another lip brush. So not only do you need like a blush brush, but you now need a lip brush to take it off the product, like the product and place it exactly where you want it. It feels quite creamy and it's blending more as I move it around my mouth. But I don't like it as a lip colour. I would have bought a second tube. I'm happy with it as a cheek colour. 
But on the lips, I would have bought a lighter one and used that on my lips because I think there was Charlie's collab was a nicer colour than this. So that one is yes for the cheeks, no for the lips, in my opinion. Um, and it doesn't appear to be drying down. So if I do a little, it's come off all over my hand. So there's a slight problem there. My cat is prowling around outside, so if you hear scratching, it's definitely her. I hate taking lip products off, because I feel like it really dries my lips out. So we will use the lip oil instead, and hopefully that will make a difference. So here it is, you get a tiny little tube. Um, what does it say here? Glassified lip oil in the shade Flutter, I think. Um... 8.5 mil in here looks like a nice juicy color oh it's got the tip the um what's the word there we go it's got like the diagonal tip let's have a look let's squeeze some out yeah i way prefer that okay so that cheek tin really dried my lips out and it's left them quite stained this does have a bit of pigment to it but not a lot it's more just gives you that really wet lip look i would use this in very small quantities as like a lip oil like a lip treatment sort of thing it is nice though if you want something that makes you look literally like just wet lips this would work Not bad feels nice does it smell well, it's got a nice sweet sort of subtle sweet smell to it quite nice um i definitely prefer that a bit messy and obviously if you had a lip product on underneath like a liquid lipstick or a lipstick or whatever you're going to transfer onto the tube because obviously you squeeze the tube and then move it around your mouth so it can be a bit messy but i do like it cute um, sweet I would definitely use that again let's put it on the back of my hand next to the cheek tip and have a look at the pigment so here we go there it is I've put it on my hand very little pigment it's right there can you see the glossy wet there's a tiny bit of pink in there but it's very very minimal um, just pat that down let me show you it so that one there was the cheek tin and this is the lip oil. So yeah, nice product. I'm just gonna dab a little bit off and there you can see it. My tissue has got a bit of pigment. Nice, nice feel. Okay, so last product will probably be the most awkward. The last product we have is a pencil. It's called the Eyewish Shadow Stick and Sharpener. Um, in this brown colour that is called Lucky Penny so you take the tip off and it looks like this it's quite a thick pencil let me just show you a close up there it is, it's quite thick um, I was thinking to do like a nice liner with it but it's very thick so I don't know what I'm going to be able to do but we will give it a go but just before I do that, I'm going to stick some powder on my face um, now that this has had a minute to soak in and see what happens. This video is not turning out how I thought it would, <laughs> shall we put it that way. Uh, let's put some powder on this face. So I would normally conceal and everything, but we're just going to stick a bit of powder over this. I'm not going to go... all out crazy so that is just a very light powder on my face and it feels quite nice um i've left it a bit shiny i normally go completely matte but then i'm normally working for 12 hours minimum at a time so i need it to kind of last but um we're not working today we're just having a look at the product we're letting it shine through looking a bit glowy it's definitely helped with the cream it did not blend as smoothly as I thought it would. Um, I just threw on a bit of my iHeart Revolution peach powder. 
um, that's all I used. So that's like face done, sort of. Um, got a bit of cheek tin on, got the lip oil on, and some powder and skin tint. I like the skin tint, I approve. It looks nice. I could have done one more powder down here, but anyway. You have to be careful with that cheek tint, that's my advice. Anyway, moving on, what are we going to do with this pencil? Um, I'm tempted to either do like just a very minimal smoky brown look or try and do a liner with it. Um, I have got lashes on so it won't be the easiest. But let's have a look at it. I'm going to stick it on my hand. There it is. Just drew a line with it. Um, that's what it looks like. Let's see if it will blend. Mm, sort of. Blends better than the skin tint. But not amazingly. So obviously you can get as thick as you want with it. Mm, let's give it a go. Let's, um, I don't even know where to start. Let's just draw a line, see what it does on the lash line. So, thoughts. It's actually a very pale colour. I thought it would be darker. Um, I will zoom you in. All I've done is a thick winged liner, but it doesn't really work. Partly because I have eyelashes on, that's my fault, but um, because it is too thick of a pencil. So, there it is. Um, one eye looks better than the other. But I've just did a very quick, thick sort of wing. Um, problem is the pencil is too thick to get a sharp point. Um, but I might blend it out and see what happens there. I think it looks better blended out as just like a light wash of colour, to be honest with you. Um, not particularly impressed. It's an eyeshadow stick. It's like, what do you do with it except draw it on your eye and then blend it okay so it does come on the end so the pencil itself is up here and on the bottom end it does come with a sharpener which is interesting um that's why it says and sharpener Ugh. i don't know you guys i'm just gonna stick some more on my eyelid and blend it out and see what happens You can't really do anything elaborate as such with this because it's so thick. You can't do like a fancy la wavy line or like wavy eyeliner or anything. I'm just taking a random Beauty Bay, um, what is it called? Round the blend, um, big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blending it down. It blends out. Um, a lot shall we say this is definitely like a buildable pencil so i barely touched it and it's like all gone <laughs> i mean that's what I've done. There's not a lot that I can really say or do with it, to be honest with you. Other than just a brown, a completely simple brown smoky eye. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to take that back and give it some credit. It's really good for under the eyes. It's a really nice thickness for adding colour to under your eyes. It is just the one colour, obviously. Um, you can't sort of do like a faded blend unless all you used on the top was that same colour. But it's a good thickness for adding some brown to the bottom, the lower lash line. Um, this is such a simple look. I don't know what it's like.
So all I've done with it is a real simple smoky blown out eye. Um, you can't really tell when I'm wearing glasses, but it's not bad, I guess. I have nothing against the product itself. It's more the shape of it. It looks quite nice. Um, it's not a bad colour, but it's very pale. So if your skin is even remotely darker than mine, um, in tone, you're just it's just not going to show up. It's just going to be so pale. It looks a lot darker on the stick than it does when you've sort of applied it to the eye. Um, it's not very good. It's a very rushed job. I know they're not even, but it's just like to show you what you can and can't do with it. If you put the slightest amount of pressure, the product will literally disappear. So with this eye, I just used a very light hand and just sort of pulled it out um, to the outer corner to see what it looks like. Could do it with some mascara on my bottom lashes. We can do that. But yeah, just a sort of brown smoky pencil, isn't it? My issue with it is that it's too thick to use as a liner. So... Let's stick a bit of mascara on these bottom lashes and then we'll have a last minute chat. Okay, so I just took a bit of my Maybelline Sky Higher and just chucked the tiniest bit of mascara on my lower lash line. Let's zoom you out. Okay, this is the finished look as it is. Um, it's not really anything special or anything remotely good. It's just trying out a bit of makeup. We've got what was it, four main products here. Um, let's start from the beginning. The skin tint, really, really liked it. This is good. I found it not the easiest to pick a shade type, but I have actually think I've done a decent job once I put powder on top. Um, I liked it. It's very, very glowy. You can use minimal product, um, literally just the amount you need to get round your face, and that's enough. Um, glowy shiny natural but adds a good amount of color and i would call it a really good dupe for the it cosmetics one that costs 32 pound 50 so if you want to spend a third of the price and potentially get more use out of it i would say tips it's very very liquidy um <coughs> comes in a glass bottle with the squeezy dropper the pipette so if you don't like them don't go for it oh just sneezed excuse me if you just put powder, if any areas you don't want to be glowy or you think are too glowy, too shiny, then you're absolutely fine. Um, and for me, it really helped with the skin tint. Oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Second product we used was the big boy here, the Cheek and Lip Tint in Hibiscus Hottie. Scarily bright red. Comes off like quite a nice pink colour on the cheeks if you use it carefully. And by that I mean, do not stick it straight on your face <laughs> because you'll go overboard unless you're going to be very careful. Um, I found to dab and sort of blend was better than sticking it on and brushing because then it would definitely pull off the skin tint because just by dabbing it on, it was pulling off the skin tint. So be careful with that. Um, this is a very bright colour. I would go with the pinkier colour, which I think is in the Charlie's collab. If not, it is definitely a colour in there. There are much better colours that I would prefer, maybe it's the right way to say it, um, easier colours to work with, not as scary as this, um, so yeah maybe go with that. Third product we tried was the Glassified Lip Oil, does what it says on the tin, um, it is glassy, glossy, nice bit of colour, slight bit of colour to it. It makes your lips look wet. If you want your lips to look like glass, like soaking wet, this is the product for you. If you need a lip oil, it's not bad and it wasn't too expensive. So, um, yeah. I have no issues with that. Last product is the brown that I have over my eyes. This I Wish Shadow Stick and Sharpener in the shade Lucky Penny. Uh, very pale colour, as you can see, I just sort of pulled it out to make it look a bit smoky. I said I have no issues with the colour um, or the way that it performs. In fact, yes I do. I have no issues with the colour, except that for me it's a bit pale and I'm already a pale person. So for 98% of the population it's going to be too pale. 
um, the size of the stick itself is fine if you want to use this for the lower lash line. Um, anything else, if you want to just shove it all over your eye, it's too small. And if you want to use it as a liner, it's way too thick. So I think they really missed a step there, missed a, missed a beat with the shape that they made the pencil. Um, yeah, it's great for lower lash line, but it's not a lower lash line stick eyeshadow, is it? It's an eyewish shadow it's a shadow stick um i would have even made it much more thicker so it's obvious that you just you know go over the eye or i would have made it a lot thinner so that it could be like you can do cool funky eyeliner looks with it um and also blend it out at the same time in terms of the blending it blends out i would say a little bit too much um you get no color payoff left if you put any pressure down it all just goes and you're back to square one so several issues with this um i like the color it's nice um it's just a little bit too pale in my opinion a little bit too sort of ready warm toned and a bit too pale like obviously they can make shadow sticks in whatever color they want um for me it's just slightly too subtle um a color i don't think that it will show up that well on many skin tones because you can barely see it right like even with glasses up there, there's not much to it. I found it was a good size to stick some shadow on the bottom lash line. That was what I found it was good for. I couldn't do a liner with it because it was far too thick. And it's too small to sort of rub all over your eyelids because it's when they become more pencil-like, it starts to hurt when you rub something over your eyelid. So you want it to be thicker and more comfortable. Which reminds me of this one, way too thick. I get the size, you stick a bit on the cheek, but it's a bit too thick to do the lips. So they should have made it slightly narrower so that you can still buff to your heart's content on your cheek, but you could actually do a lip so it needs to be a little bit thinner and look more like a lipstick so that you could actually, and plus it's rounded. So how do you do the bow of your lip sort of thing, you know? Um, so I think the sizing a lot of these products was wrong. No issue with the oil. The oil one was a good size. It's little and it's got the point so you can get to the areas you need to get to. Um, but the other two, in my opinion, just the wrong size. Um, so yeah, two products good and two not. So it's literally a full 50-50 this one. I loved these two. The oil and the skin tint, absolutely no problems, did have problems with these two. So however you want to look at it, it's a win I guess but it's also not so those were my final those were my final thoughts on the Dixie Morphe 2 collab um, let me know if you want to see me do the Charlie one um, we might have some more success over there so let me know if you want me to buy Charlie's set and we can test them or any of the other Morphe 2 makeup or indeed any makeup. Um, what is next, you may be asking. Um, we have got a couple videos lined up. I have got an order in with e.l.f. So we are going to do a full face, or near enough a full face, of e.l.f. makeup. Um, which would be fun, because I'm really enjoying e.l.f. products at the moment. Um, they're some of my faves currently. For instance, FYI, my favourite product at the moment, skincare wise, is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream because it is so hydrating I can't even tell you and it's a little goes a long way and I just love it um, and such affordable makeup too so elf is currently one of my favorite brands there you go so that elf video will be coming as soon as the order comes in which I think is at the end of this week so it may not be for a while yet um, maybe a couple weeks after this video but it is coming um, next video I have got is um, a full face of new in makeup. So it's just like random makeup bits that I've collated and collected in the last few weeks, few months, and I've put them all together and we're just going to test them all out together on camera. So that will be the next video as I have those products here and waiting. Um, and then hopefully Elf will come after that, but there may be some more games in the meantime as games are generally a lot easier for me to film there's a lot less that you need i just sit down on the computer and play whereas with these um i just have to get products ready and think of a look and 
there's more to it. Plus I filmed these on my Canon G7X Mark II which needs you know charging and setting up whereas I filmed through OBS on my computer through a webcam so it's all just there. So um, that is the latest update. Um, I know it has been a very long time or at some point there's been a very long gap. Um, I had a huge work project that I was trying to finish and I did. I worked night and day to get it done and I have done so I can now devote more of my time to doing this. So whenever I'm not working, <coughs> so whenever I'm not working, I can be filming and editing and doing videos, which is what I really, really enjoy to do. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and thank you even more if you have made it to the end of this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know in the comments down below if there is anything you want me to see, do, test, play, whatever. Let me know. Because um, I would be very interested to hear what you guys want to see. That would be very interesting for me. So, again, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.